Hello guys, this is James from Typeproof Solution. On this video, I'm gonna show you how to change your PLDT Home DSL Wi-Fi name so that you will remove the PLDT Home DSL name from your Wi-Fi name. So I'm gonna show you how to do that because if you have Wi-Fi using your PLDT, it has the PLDT Home DSL before the name of the Wi-Fi you want. So everybody knows that you are using PLDT Internet Connection. So I'm going to show you how to remove that PLDT home DSL at the name of your Wi-Fi. So what we're going to need to do is to open your favorite browser, then type the default IP address one, which is 192.168.1.1. Make sure that you are now connected to your uh, router using the LAN cable or um, by connecting to its wireless connection. So enter the username. What user name what user we need to log in is the user admin PLDT. The default password of this user is one two three four five six seven eight nine zero if you haven't changed it. So the default password again is one two three four five six seven eight nine zero. Then click login. Actually guys what we're gonna need to do here is we're gonna set up another Wi Fi which has no PLDT home DSL at its Wi-Fi name or Wi-Fi as society then we're gonna um, disable your default Wi-Fi which has the D PLDT home DSL from its Wi-Fi as society or Wi-Fi name go to setup then go to WLAN go to security we're gonna set up the virtual access point so click this BA P0 then choose WPA to mix as encryption then WPA authentication mode is personal pre-shared key then pre-shared key format passphrase then pre-shared key is your password that you want so enter the password then after that click apply changes then we need to wait for 20 seconds so we set up now the virtual access point 0 then go now to MBSSID what we're gonna need to do here is we're gonna enable the Wi-Fi that we set up then the SSID is the Wi-Fi name so type whatever Wi-Fi name you want it has no PLDT home DSL now then broadcasting as broadcast SSID enabled relay blocking enabled then authentication type should be appreciate key then apply changes so we now set up and enable the Wi-Fi that we created what we're gonna need to do is to uh, disable our default Wi-Fi so that you will now see only one Wi-Fi we're gonna disable the default Wi-Fi so go to advanced then broadcast SSID should be disabled I already disabled it just choose to disable then apply changes click OK then to make your configuration effective forever just click the save button here that's how to uh, uh, set up another Wi-Fi so that you will now have Wi-Fi that has no PLDT home DSL from its name so what we did we set up another Wi-Fi from here security we set up the BA BAP virtual access point zero then after we set up we go to every SID then we enabled it so that we will now have another Wi-Fi then after that we go to advance we disable the default Wi-Fi by dis disabling the broadcast SSID the Wi-Fi that you see now is the Wi-Fi that we enabled this one 
PAP0 so that's it guys uh, thank you for watching this video have a great day